Hello everyone, I thought I would come on today and kind of share um, some of my personal junk journals that I use on a somewhat regular basis and I'll kind of explain that as we get into it. Um, I've never, some of these I've never shared, some I've shared only, I'm trying to think, shared only in like with journal with me videos um, and so uh, I'll just jump into it. Um, so some of these may look familiar to those of you who've um, watched me for a little while. Um, others will be new, maybe, hopefully. So um, we will start with the first one. And this one has been on, just trying to, trying to make some room here. There are a lot, of, a lot of journals. This one I did share when I first made it way back. Um, it was... Um, I, I did the math here a while back. I looked it up and it was, I want to say about six or seven years ago. I made this one. It's got some lint up there and I shared it. It was the first, um, junk journal that I ever made. And I, I thought I was going to make it to sell, but I fell in love with it. And so, so I kept it for myself. Um, and it is way, way back on my videos. If you want to watch that, I may link it in the description if I remember to. Um, uh, my beginnings in junk journaling was very heavily inspired by, um, Nick the Booksmith and Amity Bloom, a Nazi over on Amity Bloom. Um, I started watching them and I just, I couldn't get enough. Actually, I take that back. <laughs> I, okay. All of that is true, except before I ever even heard of them, I started seeing videos of remnants of the day. Um, uh, what is her name? I will link her in the description as well. Uh, Leanne, no? My goodness, I can't remember her name. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'll, I'll put it on the screen somewhere if I remember it. Um, Remnants of the Day, very popular, um, back in the day, um, where she literally had, like, a class where she was teaching people how to make fabric-covered journals, um, with just whatever you acquire throughout your day. Um, and I absolutely fell in love with those. I loved watching the flip throughs of them. I never did take the class cause I didn't, I couldn't afford it, but, um, uh, I just, I ate up every video that I could find of people that did flip throughs of their, um, remnants of the day videos. So that was the beginnings of my junk journal, um, uh, journey and so, until we are here today. Um, so this one uh this one i i use it only for and i'll just kind of give you a, a tour of the outside it's a, an old book cover um i reinforced this spine with fabric i did some mis 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 <laughs> what was that machine sewing and i hand stitched the signatures in and i put this lovely um dingle on the side and i've added to it over the years um little things that i've gathered and collected it even has like this pin of this lighthouse anything that's like nautical um themes or makes me think of nautical things like this button here has an anchor on it and i love the patina natural patina on that and these um laces and seam bindings um so I save this only for things that are um, ocean sea related. So I have a dream <laughs> and I will share it with you guys. I have a dream to someday make it to a coast. I don't care what coast. I have been to um, the Gulf of Mexico. Unfortunately, it was not a terribly good experience. Um, I was with people who just made the experience not bad, but not great either it was it was just it was rushed the people i was with were just upset they were in a bad mood um and it was just a very quick like we were on the beach for what maybe 10 minutes if that and that's not the experience that i want to have at the ocean so <laughs> um this book is my um my book about someday Someday, I even wrote a poem about about it. Someday, going to the ocean, I have a painting. Just um, just added in some things like this poem here. I added in um, some pictures, some 
some things I added in from that were my grandmother's. Um, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to see if I can find them because she had some um, scrapbooks. Here's a painting that I did. Um, scrapbooks that she that I acquired when she um, passed away. Of uh, some notes she uh, she wrote on here saw this. They saw this ship. And this was Fisher at the Fisherman's Wharf. Um, this was from a brochure that she had um, had in her stuff. It's her memorabilia. Road in a something. That's all I can read. I don't know what that says, but I just love the fact that it has her handwriting. She wrote in it. She experienced that. And I get to keep it in my stuff now. I have some postcards here that I like, or a postcard. There are others in here. Um, some of these, a lot of these decorations I did when I made the book. But um, I just love this book. And someday I will get to write in here that I've seen the ocean. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know why. I've been all over, I mean, all over the United States in Central in southern United States, I've never made it as far as I've made it. The farthest I've been is to, like closest to the ocean in either direction. I've been to Georgia and I've been to Arizona. So it's like I've been so far and yet did not make it. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's what this journal is all about. Here's another painting that I did of a seahorse. So that's that's the purpose of this journal. And I hope to continue to add to it throughout the years and get to add more to it hopefully um so if y'all want to support me in my mission no i'm just kidding <laughs> just kidding but that's this one and I, I love this journal it is by far my favorite and i think a lot of that i'm looking for some place to put this um a lot of that is because it was the very first one that i made also um second one this one i love this journal as well um, I love just doing just loose wraparound closures because I can take them off and then they're not in the way when I'm going through it. And we have dangles here of some things that I've made, a little painting of some poppies, which is my very favorite flower. And that is just pinned onto the, um, um, what is this? This has a name, a headband. <laughs> it's called a headband in bookmaking. Um, this was the first journal that I tried doing a hidden binding in, and it didn't turn out perfectly, so I kept it for myself. I was planning on selling this one too. But anyway, <laughs> a lot of times if books don't work out as, as precisely or as neatly as I want them to, I'll just keep them for myself. Or I fall in love with them as within the, la the last one that I showed you. I just fell in love with it, and so I had to keep it. This one has a very thick, has very thick boards on it, but it's um, only on the covers but the spine is not as thick, so it has a little more give, so it does lay flat. Um, and this journal, I, I collect um, things having to do with nature. This is my nature journal, so I have sayings, quotes, um, pictures, paintings, um, things that I've written, um, and I'll just quickly kind of go through it. Like right here, this is just a snippet. I was playing around on a very old uh, typewriter that I acquired. It says the sun is shining, the birds are singing, today is a good day for a walk. And so I just, I was just playing around. We got a John Muir quote, paintings. I'm not going to go through every, everything, but you can kind of get the drift. We got a feather here. Uh, it's just, um, yeah, just kind of quickly got some pressed flowers there on one of my um, specimen collection cards. Some dried flowers here. Um, a page from a botanical book, which I love. I love that sound. You hear the seeds rattling? I hope you guys could hear that. <laughs> um, just, yeah. A lot of fun stuff. I have a memory here with um, my daughters. We were out taking pictures, so I just um, wrote about that. It was autumn, and it's beautiful. This is a photograph that I took in my dad's yard, and I wrote about that. Favorite flower, like I mentioned. <laughs> um going to keep saying that probably so I'll probably come across more poppy related things and um I don't I don't work in chronological chronological order I leave blank spaces and I just I put things where I 
think they look best when I decide to put them in the journal. So uh, this was one of my early um, eco print. Actually, no, this is not a, an official eco print. It is an, uh, an eco print of sorts. Um, I got this idea from, <laughs> I can't think of anyone's name all of a sudden, um, Jibid, uh, Jibid Neary's, um, YouTube channel where she just sprayed, I think she used inks. She may have used coffee also, but she just, pr just laid the leaves on the paper and let it dry that way. And it leaves the, the impression of the plants that way. And so I also wrote a little bit about my eco dyeing, my first eco dyeing, um, trials and experiences and, um, I actually started another journal for that to keep notes in of what, what I like to eco print and what I don't as far as like, um, which plants and whatnot. Another painting, uh, just, yeah, this is a whole page I did. I loved this image and, um, this was given, to, gifted to me. So I wrote about that. This was also gifted to me. So I just really like that. And then it did in the morning there a little, um, yeah another eco print um, some things I um, work on in um, steps stages I don't do it all in one like I'll add something to this little little bird tuck here like I have here another painting and another painting this is not my painting this is from a book <laughs> some more puppies this is an old um, vintage card, like a thank you card, I believe it was. Some paper. I didn't make this paper. I um, I don't know where I got that from. Actually, probably bought it. This is a skeleton leaf, which I I actually I spray painted it <laughs> with some gold paint. Loved that. I love these mushrooms here. Dictionary page. A children's book page basically <laughs> so yeah I, I just add little snippets here and there this is not even attached it's just with a paper clip at the moment at the moment wallpaper envelope another painting another spray painted leaf <laughs> I think the first one that I did was accidental. I was spray painting something on the the ground and one got spray painted. It was in the autumn. So I was like, hey, I like that. So I went ahead and finished it. This I was experimenting with some dyeing with turmeric and that kind of made me think of sunflower or um, uh, marigold or something along those lines. So I kept that. A uh, page from a book. These are pressed flowers and a butterfly wing that I, I put on this card and then just used, um, I think it was contact paper that I stuck on there and it's not very sticky. So I stitched around it also. And, oh, that does open. <laughs> I haven't put anything in there, but it does open. So I wasn't planning on spending too much time on each thing, but, um, yeah. Some more of that um, uh, eco type impression printing. <laughs> oh, I don't know what else to call it. Another skeleton leaf press on there. And another eco print that I really liked. I plan on, apparently I plan on putting that somewhere in the book. This is a book from a book page and I backed it with a, um, a mono print that I did. This is a um, library pocket from a book titled white tail which was actually where this came from so it was about that deer so that is my my nature journal so i don't use journals on like um like a like you would just sit down with a blank book and just write your thoughts i don't use junk journals in that way um for the most part junk journals are more like collections for me they are um places for me to store my collections so that's how I use them. Okay. I'm gonna, let's see, which one next? This one I have shown before, whoops, only briefly, well, not briefly, it was kind of in detail, but um, I just wanted to share it again today. It has some little collections of things that I found, keys, 
um, thing is this little doll that I made. Isn't she cute? <laughs> She's kind of in the way, but that's okay. I'm done with this book. I'm done filling it anyways. I probably won't add any more to it. This is um, sort of along the lines of my found journals where I just um, tuck things in that I have found um, or have been given to me or something along those lines. This does not fit in the pocket. <laughs> Um, this butterfly, little tea tags, just um, things that I've collected and want to keep. So just like all the others, collections, um, this I wrote a little bit about when I was a child, we raised chickens and wrote a little bit about that. A bit of a family tree there. This, <laughs> this was an experiment that didn't go so well, but I still kind of liked it. This is onion skin paper with leaves pressed between them glued and then I stitched around it. It's it's really aged over time. Um, I don't remember. It must have been coffee dyed onion skin paper, but anyways, it was an experiment. Coffee dyed papers and painting. This was gifted to me. This was this. Just some things I want to remember. This was my grandmother's um, ten dollar um, I don't remember. I think it was a Confederate dollar, or something like that. So it's not. It's no longer. Um, <laughs> and why she had it, I have no idea. But anyways, back to where we were. Talking about the journal, and I didn't even do anything here, but I like the the way it looks. It's a photograph I took. As are these are also photographs and. This was kind of an idea I was playing around with. Broken can be beautiful. This is a, um, a zine that I made and printed. I got this, um, these pictures from a, an old photo album and I just loved it. I love these girls are all making ice cream. You see, she's turning the handle there, the ice cream bucket. And then I found this old ad in an old, old cookbook from the 1920s, I believe. So I made this collage here about that. My grandmother's uh, Sunday school certificate and a picture of my grandmother. A book page made into an envelope print of a postcard that I have. I still have the original. Actually, I may have put it in a journal. And this, I kept this picture of this. This man is fishing. This is not my grandfather, but I put it with my grandfather's um, fishing license from 1970. So I just kind of like keeping things like that. They, they are. Um, uh oh, what's, what's the word? Sentimental. <laughs> and these really don't, don't have any meaning. I just like them, so I put them in here. Uh, postcard. A verse card. Oops. Can't get out, but yeah. Playing card. I like this old ad. It's, um, it's a print of an old ad, but I liked it. So. This is a clothing tag. Playing cards. This was some um, receipt tape that I was in a pack of ephemera that I bought, so I glued it in there. This was gifted to me. This is a beautiful card with this fabric and embroidered dress on it from Renee. Renee gifted me these items. I wanted to hang on to them for myself. Some ephemera is just too pretty to give away. <laughs> or to put in journals to give away basically this i believe was my grandparents um was some of their memorabilia from the trip they took can't find the pocket there we go um yeah so that's pretty much there's still a lot of blank spaces in here but i don't like overfilling things another just um clothing tag and another one <laughs> it's a postage stamp 
clothing tags. I like something about clothing tags. Just, I don't know. Someday, this was a program from my grandfather's funeral. Some more photographs of those girls. I just, I love these these girls in the, I didn't write anything on that. On the farm. Girls on the farm. So, someone told me they were um, <laughs> in the Avon. I cut that because I did sell Avon for a very short time, many years ago. Um, someone told me that those girls from that photo album, and these are just other things that I wanted to add in and never did. But, um, told me that they were working girls from the World War II, but those, the, I can't talk. The photo album had it dated to the 20s, so that was well before World War II, but after World War I, so I don't know. Okay, I cannot say. All right, next. This one, this one is just another collection of things. I love just taking different things and just putting them together in different ways. And it's not, it's not finished. I still have things that I want to put in here. Some things I just, um, I just haven't gotten around to. So this is a children's book, um, pay picture and the, some of the words that go along with that. And this is just in a, a tea bag that I decorated. This is... Um, it's a card that like a baseball card would be in, but I found these, um, wings from a butterfly or a moth and I just put them on this transparent, um, tracing paper, I believe it was, and then stitch across the top so that I could keep those. I barely, barely fits in there. Well, it's more just a little typing, a little pocket on this I made these fabric tags a long time ago this button I made ages and ages ago with some just paint and some resin some measuring tape a painting not a very great painting but I mean I made it so and it it works so I kept it a photograph that I altered or edited however you want to say that some writing that I did just um I don't I think one of my children drew this and um, left it on my table one day, and so I just stuck it in this little tea bag, tea bag package. Again, blank pages. It doesn't bother me though. This is a collage of some. Um, they were like transparent stickers that I had printed with this vintage ephemera. Let's flip that. No eco print. So I just kind of did a like a whole collage of them. Little bit of just a collage. This is a pocket, nothing in it. This is from a book page. As is this. Um, this was, these are pictures that uh, we had developed from, these are prints actually. We didn't get physical pictures back, we got digitals. So I had to print them from a very old box camera that my daughter got at a garage sale. The woman just gave it to her. So. Because she was, she was admiring it. So there was film in it. And so we rescued the images. It's, um, it's very hard to tell. But like this is two little girls sitting on a cow. And the farmer. It's probably their grandfather or something. Standing behind them. And there they are again. And this is a little girl in a coat and bonnet. There they are sitting on the cow again. They're very hard to make out. This is where we had them printed from, and these are the negatives. They're very faded because, of course, light got to them over the years. But the fact that you can make out an image just was pretty impressive. Um, an old envelope that I wanted to keep. This is a photograph that I took and I did a little collage with. And this is some a stamp and a um, postcard that I really loved and I wanted to keep. Blank pages, a little sticker collage. <laughs> this um, was a spread that I did about my daughters. I love this picture of them sitting on that fence gate there and did some more book pages with that and did a little writing about it. Blank pages, the embroidery pattern that I wanted to keep, just some little things. 
a spread. This is an actual spread that I did because I had all these um, oriental, um, I don't know what the correct term to use is. I don't know. Some of them are probably, I believe they're mostly Chinese. Some are Japanese um, things that I kept um, and just collaged on here. <laughs> I love these papers. I can't remember what they're called right now. But they're beautiful. This is a... I actually sketched this out to make a stamp. Which I stamped somewhere on here, I thought. I guess not. Oh, right here. <laughs> oh, good grief. It's right in my face. That I stamped. And I left the sketch on just some tracing paper on my desk. And my daughter painted it for me. So I had to stick that in there. A lot of times when my girls were still living at home, I would, you know, leave things just on my desk. It was in the kitchen. My um, work area was in our dining room, actually, not kitchen. Dining room. And so if I had to get up in the middle of a project or whatever, which was all the time, I would just leave things out. And they would come along and do things. So my youngest daughter would sometimes actually go get scraps out of my trash and make collages with them and leave them on my desk for me. It's really cute. Um, this is some tissue paper that was gifted to me. This is a trip that I and my husband took to the Sunken Gardens in Lincoln, Nebraska. Had some family up there we were visiting. This is a, just a picture of myself in 2015 that I liked. I like black and white pictures. Um, and so I just did kind of a spread. Um, this is my youngest daughter when she was just uh, three years old. And a cat my parents have. Anyways, so Tim Holtz wallpaper pattern paper <laughs> another spread that I did because I love these pictures all together and I wanted to put them together in a pleasing way so I did I love those pictures they they tell a story this here I kept this card because I have a I have a feeling about it and I could be wrong but I I feel like this is a post-mortem post -mortem picture. I could be wrong, but there's just something strange going on with this woman and this boy right here. He doesn't quite look right. Her arm is specifically over toward his head. Um, and he's just positioned kind of, I don't know. It's just a suspicion that I have. I could be very wrong. But either way, I did some writing about the postmortem pictures of that era. Um, this is a, le a letter that I, I found. It was written in 1986. I found this in a dumpster, actually. Um, yes, I and my daughters were doing some dumpster diving. <laughs> Just because we've been seeing videos on YouTube. And so we went and checked it out. We found some pretty cool things, too. But anyways, we found, I found, um, we went it was um a store was closing and we were digging through their dumpster and there was just so much paperwork and papers and things that I've added to my stash but this letter is so emotional it literally had me in tears and it it appears that it could be a copy like a, a photocopy I'm not entirely sure but it is just this woman is talking about her past and memories that she had as a child and she's just telling everyone that she loves that she loves them and it's just a very beautiful picture it's just an empty envelope i mean letter not picture my daughter embroidered that for me pages. i think that is about it for this book yeah, these are just things that I want to put somewhere. I had a, <laughs> uh, I had a mishap with some a wax encaustic that I had on here, but it didn't really work out, and it just peeled off. So I took it off because it wasn't really working. I need to kind of clean that up a little more, but it doesn't bother me. This I got with uh, some like a, a thrift store, some things that I um, gathered, collected. It's like a pillow, but it's tiny. So I just glued it in there. And that's this journal. These I keep these in the journal in a lot of the journals because if I want to do any writing on a page, I will just slip it behind so that it is um, 
smooth and nothing is going to interfere with my writing. It's quite a sturdy um, index card. I like keeping those in the journals, at least journals that I plan on writing in. If it's just a journal that I glue things into, I don't. Oh, I want these. They're going to find a home in there somewhere, someday. I don't always have time to work in my own journals like I would like to. This is, um, I'm not 100% a, a sure that this really matches the journal, but I love it anyways. This um, is sorry silks and some yarns and stuff that I've stitched onto this fabric with some gold thread. And I just, this was in my, my um, gypsy journal era <laughs> when I was working on gypsy journals. Okay, next actually, what order do I want to do? This is my uh, winter journal. I use this one only to record things. I know it's strange about winter. I have a nature journal which has winter things in it because I just, I love nature. I love everything about nature. I love all of the seasons except the 100 degree weather uh, temperatures of summer. <laughs> but um, this was just a file folder that I painted and decorated with a children's book page and put some fabric on. It has a, just a fabric, soft fabric spine. And I just collect, I don't remember how this opens, collect things about winter that I like. The window of winter. And do some writing in this one. I'm just going to quickly, this is something, oh, this is a handwritten note that I got from a, an album, photo album, Silent Night. Um, but it is in Latin. But I love that. It's handwritten. Just photographs that I've taken. Um, it's a postcard that I did some, sti or stitched on some embroidery, or what is that called? Like a doily. <laughs> I can't. An old photograph that I love. So I made a collage there. My photograph. Just some collage. Book page. I did some writing on that. I love this um, Christmas card. Some book pages, some things I want to add but haven't yet. It's just a card for my photographs. This is a print from a very old um, <sighs> picture from a nineteen, an eighteen, sorry, eighteen eighty-five uh, photo album that I have. My photograph. And these are things that I will continue to add to for years to come. And hopefully people will appreciate them when I'm gone and enjoy looking at them. So, the collage, very old, um, copyright 1870. It was, um, one of the, I don't know what they're called. I want to say viewfinder, but I don't know if that's what they're called. But you put them on this thing that you look through and it has two pictures on it and it makes them like come to life like they're all 3d and pretty and i have a ton of those <laughs> i don't i don't use them often enough so oops yep so that's that one that's my winter journal and then oops yeah my stack is falling over then I have my, this is my junk planner. I don't do a lot of planning. I have a lot, quite a few videos actually um, about this already, like spreads that I've done in it and talking about it, stuff like that. So I just do like a few pages each month where I will collect things that I've gathered throughout the month or things that I like um, and just kind of tuck them in and do a little writing, a little planning, literally a little planning. I don't have a lot to plan in my life these days. Kids are grown. It's just I and my husband and our animals, <laughs> which I need to make an appointment for. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Um, and this will get filled up as the months go by. The things I want to add in here. I spilled ink on this and it made me sad. Anyways, that's my junk planner. And then I have a junk 
journal that I, um, junk journal, art, junk art journal. There we go. Or trashy art journal. What it have, whatever you want to call it. So I've just been kind of working in this, um, with different challenges and things like that. So, um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so, yep. Still got a lot of space to work in this one. So, it's, I like tucking things in the back of the book that I plan on putting in there. So, that, those are my junk journals that I'm currently working in. Um, I do have some others that are, like, finished, but, um, that's pretty much it. I don't, like I said, I don't do a lot of just writing, like, journal writing in junk journals. They're more for collections and things like that. So, that's it, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye.